Now Shauna will do the traditional bow. Inhale, bend your two knees and grab your ankles. Flex your toes toward your shins. It can really help in this when she flexes the toes to get this strength. Inhale, lift your chin and chest up and kick your legs back. Now use the strength in your buttocks and your thighs to open up more and more. Kicking, breathing, lifting, opening in this powerful bow as you breathe long and deeply, kicking back so much so that her body is shaking in this. Drawing that sternum forward and up and kicking back and lifting and opening. A final kick and lift, Shauna. And on your next inhale, bring it down. Turn your left ear down, arms by your side, open your palms. Relax deeply. Did you see how Shauna's backbend in tabletop bow was building functional strength along that curvature of her spine? Let's hear from another studio member talking about her challenges in having super supple joints. If I could demonstrate for you, it actually, it just, you feel it not just in your back. At first, you, you're a little bit nervous about doing it because you can't see where it is you're going as you're going back like this. But once you start to develop more strength in your back, you realize you're actually using every muscle in your body when you're doing this. From your legs, your feet are being pressed down, your arms, you're holding it, your chest is lifted, and it's just a total workout. Your complete body is being worked out at once in every single pose that you're doing. And it helps because I like to dance. So when I go out at night, I just notice that I'm stronger, you have more stamina, you last longer, you can do more. So when did you first realize that you were a Gumby? Well, I've been dancing for a lot of years, so I think just the stretching and everything from that kind of brought the Gumby aspect in. And so yoga's helped you in what way with that? Well, it, hot yoga in particular, because it, it just melts your muscles. So you can see the benefits of a yoga practice help out even super supple gumbies. Shauna, can you share a benefit from a yoga practice that was unexpected? About a week ago, I was rear-ended on 128, and my car was pretty banged up, and so was my back, and um, my lower back specifically. And from doing yoga and all the lower back postures, it's really helped put my spine back in place. In every class, we talk about the tremendous calming benefits of the yogic breath. So it's great to hear that there's this trickle effect happening for Shauna into other arenas of her life. Let's watch Shauna debunk the myth that Gumbies show up for their practice with nimble, strong bodies ready to go. Sean is going to close out doing camel posture, and you'll see that she's working hard and building her core strength. Shauna, place your palms on the back of your hips. Good. And that bony ledge right in the back of those hips. Squeezing your butt together. Inhale. Push your knees, shins, and feet down. Lift your chin and chest and look back. Now, because Shauna's a very supple individual, she can easily grab with these fingers on the inside and the thumbs on the outside, pushing her feet and knees and shins down. She's pushing these vertebrae away from her heels, creating this wonderful opening in her spine. She's gazing back and she's breathing long and deeply, pushing all of these vertebrae away from her heels, looking back as a counterweight, pushing down with these knees and the feet and the shins and pushing up and away. If she were to let go of these heels right now on her exhale, her chest would actually fly away from the heels. Inhale, come on up Shauna, and find child pose. Bring your hips down, bring your hands down, and let the weight of your hips open up this lower back. Breathing, calm, 
steady, long rhythm of breath. Back in 1990, during my early ashram days out in the Berkshires at Kripalu Center, when I first started practicing yoga, I'll fess up. I was one very stiff dude and I was still highly competitive. So in the early morning, when I'd watch women glide back into these back bends, I would seethe with jealousy, thinking how absolutely impossible it would be for me to do these yoga postures. So I totally bought into this myth. As we've seen in this show, Gumbies are amazing in the way they can move their bodies. But the bottom line is that anybody can receive equal benefit from practicing these yoga postures on the mat. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Yoga Passion. I hope you learned something about backbends. And please remember that the best way to build core strength and flexibility in your body is to get on the mat and practice. Tune in to next week's follow-up episode on backbends. This is your host, Peter Scliva, saying, peace, love, and sweat. And I'll end by chanting a quick version of the Gayatri Mantra. Om Bhur Bhurva Svaha Tat Savitur Varinyam Vargo Devasya Dimahi Diyohu Yonat Prachohu Dayahat Om